Hello, we're here with Scott Shaw, the owner and founder of uh, Sound and Vision Design. Scott, thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure. So what are tips and ideas that you could give a prospective buyer of a home theater system that you would tell them before they would get ready to kind of take that big leap and step in and put a system in? Well, um, <clears throat> I've said this many times, but the design of the system before any equipment is purchased is really key. Um, I think a lot of homeowners start with the equipment and then design comes later, and that can be a recipe for disaster. Um, for new construction, what uh, we recommend is when we pre-wire a home, we pre-wire it for current technology, and we also, as best we can, pre-wire it for technology that's not even available yet. So we run lots of extra wire, lots of extra fiber in the home. That way, 10 years down the road, when the homeowner wants to upgrade, we've got the infrastructure there to do it. Uh, for an existing home, if you wanted to upgrade an existing space, um, you have to bear in mind that more than likely the wiring infrastructure is not there, which presents challenges to uh, us custom integrators in that more than likely we're going to have to do some drywall damage, but um, we've done lots of renovations. They turn out very well, and again, the key is the design. I see. Interesting. Um, this is a silly question, but because of technology the way it is now, there's so many things that are transmitted through the airwaves. Is there ever a day or a moment in time that you foresee that that would happen obviating the need for wiring? There are technologies available today to transmit uh, an HDMI signal wirelessly, or a high-definition video signal, I should say, wirelessly. Um, they're not as reliable as a hardwired system, and I would say we go to wireless uh, only if a hardwired option is not available to us. Um, but to answer your question, it's possible down the road that wireless will become as close to 100% reliability as hardwired and may obviate the need for uh, hardwiring. It's probably very similar to wireless technology and computers where if I have my druthers, we certainly want to be hardwired because we don't have that chance of getting losing exactly. connectivity. And you get a gigabit, typically, internet uh, speed connection on a PC, hardwired, and you don't come close to that with a wireless. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure.